We've got big news for Bob Iger. He got to meet his favorite celebrity, that being Taylor Swift. And oh my goodness, Squee, we're so happy for him. But let's talk about the business implications of that here on That Park Place. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to That Park Place. My name is Jonas J. Campbell. I am an investigative reporter. And uh, and here with me is uh, one of my favorite uh Swiffers. He's not a Swifty. He's told me he's not a Swifty, so I'll call him a Swiffer. Uh, Mr. Vash guy. How you doing, Vash? I'm I'm doing very well. Just just talking about three of my favorite people right here. Oh, just man. just love them to death. Adore them so much that I might actually go on the red carpet and uh and, and geek out over them. No, I will oh, not do that. Let's talk about them. Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey caused Disney CEO Bob Iger to jump off his seat. As the couple enjoyed their date night at Los Angeles Hots, I love Los Angeles Hotspot. That's one of my favorite places to uh, to keep my food warm. Uh, Bob Iger and Willow Bay, that would be the wife of Mister, that would be Mrs. Iger, as it were, saw Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey at Bird Streets Club. Uh, well, hopefully it's a sunny day there. Disney Plus reportedly paid seventy-five million for the streaming rights to Swift's Eras Tour, and DailyMail.com provides all the latest international sports news. Those headlines, all right there, don't seem like they're telling a complete story. I would say that's telling an overly complete story. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, but let's get into it here. Leo Ciano or Leo Ciano. Uh, Kayo, Kaleo, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. I apologize, but uh, thank you for the article today. Disney CEO Bob Iger was reportedly fawning over Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey in Los Angeles. If I was Travis Kelsey, I would not like anyone fawning over my girlfriend, but uh, but here we are today. Iger's fandom came to light when the 14-time Grammy winner and three-time Super Bowl champion, that's hilarious, uh, dined at Bird Street <laughs> Club in Los Angeles. Saturday night per, per page six. Uh, I guess we're referring to the couple as one singular entity here. I would love to see a 14-time granny winner and, winner and three-time Super Bowl champion. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. Uh, that's that's quite the that's quite the resume right there. Right? Yeah. According to a source at the scene, Iger was dining while his wife will obey when uh, Swift and Kelsey walked into the celebrity hotspot. That, that, I don't think that's Bob Iger right there uh that, no, that, that no. looks that also looks like jason kelsey i've i've heard he's the one that usually has less of a less than one shirt on so <laughs> yes, uh, bob yes. jumped up from his seat the minute taylor walked in the source said oh my goodness the private club is known for hosting a-listers such as leonardo dicaprio timothy chalamet and bruno mars see if he got up and talked to bruno mars i, I would be more excited about that that guy that guy can write a bop he can. Um, He's gonna be working for free for a little bit here, though. <laughs> oh, and here, yeah, and oh, and here we are. Here's another picture of Bob Iger congratulating the couple. Look at that right there. It's wearing Hardman's uh, jersey there. You know, uh, so so happy for Bob Iger to uh, run into them uh, here. <laughs> While Swift stardom can explain Iger's adoration, his business also benefited from the pop star's celebrity. Here is where this, to me starts to turn into just like are, are, who paid for this advertisement here on right. on dailymail.co.uk uh, because at, at at some point it just turns into uh, an advertisement for the Taylor Swift Eras Tour on Disney Plus. I haven't caught that one yet. Uh, b by the way, uh, Vash, have you seen uh, Taylor's version over there on Disney Plus yet? Uh, no, I have not, but I know my father has recently. He was actually up <laughs> watching it last night. Uh, he enjoyed it. He was a little bit uh, disappointed that some songs that uh, he went and played uh, were not, and uh, he didn't recognize some of those uh, tunes. But uh, it's it's obviously there is demand for this, and it was a a a you know a savvy move by Bob Iger to, to get the, the rights for this. Paid a hefty fee for them, but, uh, you know, got them while uh, striking while the iron's hot. We've seen Bob Iger do this before. Interestingly enough, I believe uh, he talked to Harry and uh, Meghan Markle, interestingly yeah. enough, on the red carpet yes, at one did. point. And got her a, a voice acting gig and stuff like that. He, he's he's all about uh, he's all about what's hot, isn't he? Yeah, y yes, he is. And um that has been one of the best and worst things I think about Bob Iger here. Here he is uh, with, uh, I, I'm assuming that's, uh, here, here's him meeting Taylor Swift again. 
Elvis oh. Willow Bay. This is his wife, uh, the former <laughs> ABC News uh, own Willow Bay here. I This is hilarious to me, this in, entire uh, situation, because, uh, you know, Sometimes you need a distraction from your distractions, as we've often been covering here, uh, as Bob Iger does not want to be distracted with the uh, the proxy fight uh, with Nelson Peltz. Instead, he would like to be uh, distracted by fawning over uh, a, a, a Mrs. Kelsey here. I'm, I'm going to stop making that joke here. Uh, Taylor <laughs> Swift, obviously very talented. I'm, a lot of people joke about how her stuff is made by AI. If she's making AI music, well, then everyone needs to be making AI music because uh, the, the the hits just don't stop uh, with, with that one, it would seem. So I'm not saying it's a bad business decision to have Taylor Swift on your platform. It might not be the best business decision to pay $75 million for something that... Uh, maybe not everyone is going to be watching uh, right. when the music is the real thing. And mm -hmm. if they're never going to release the Eras tour on any other platform, okay, maybe, or maybe it's available on, well, I'm not going to say where it might be available online. Uh, Vash, do you want to talk a little bit more about uh, some of Bob Iger's uh, previous um, star encounters here? You, you mentioned, of course, uh, Meghan Markle. Mm hmm. Yes. Yeah. Uh, apparently there's a story that's <laughs> gone around where Harry might have gotten her necessarily a gig, some voice voiceover gig. I believe it was for National Geographic. I want to say um, Bob Iger has been very fond of people like uh, 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 Obama and his wife in the past when when they were uh, big time news right here. So he has kind of a history of of fawning over some of these people let's say and uh, uh and getting caught up in the hype surrounding them at the moment which is a kind of a very interesting uh thing right there uh, not not uh, obviously that does have business implications like you were saying right, before right. You when do it comes need to, to be able to schmooze in order to do oh, sure this. yeah yeah Oh, he's a schmoozer. Well, I, he's he's the he's the schmoozer among schmoozers. That's for sure. And that's why he likes the red carpet stuff. That's why he likes hanging out in the Hollywood kind of industry and so forth. He was always much better at relationship building than, let's say, somebody like Chapek was, for example. Right. Oh, absolutely. Um, yeah. So uh, when it comes to like Taylor Swift and uh, Travis Kelsey, you know, the article even mentions that they were really uh some big time uh what is it uh, uh, ratings drivers for nfl games for example but it's it, it, taylor swift's <laughs> you know uh, uh participation in those games really turned everything upside down and just just was a ratings phenomenon that was unlike any other and obviously that culminated with the uh last uh the last super bowl that was just played right here so right, yeah the he, biggest he super bowl this uh, in recent memory and and they're, they're this is a this is a funny thing to think about here. Uh, the idea of Bob Iger running into them accidentally. First of all, I'm I'm, I'm going to say something a little cynical here. I don't like to be cynical, except when it comes to Bob Iger, he's given us a lot of reason to be cynical with these oh, yes. ridiculous figures like, oh, no, Star Wars has made $12 billion off of just a $4 billion investment. Okay. Okay. Mm. Sure. Sure, Bob. Uh, sure, Jan. Um <laughs> The idea that this meeting was accidental or that it also was paired with a basically an advertisement for Disney Plus, uh, as it appeared in the Daily Mail UK. Right when it comes out. I, I think that this is all just a little too perfect. And I go, OK, OK, sure. Yes. OK. Why not just frame it as an advertisement? Why don't you go make some TikToks together and pretend like you wrote this wrote this article on the spot? Uh looking in your direction there uh what 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 was the guy with the with the shave in his eyebrows that did light switch and pretended like he wrote it on a tiktok whatever um it, i have lost 75% of our 75% of our audience does not care uh who i just talked about and the <laughs> other 25% are now groaning at my boomerish i'm not a boomer but boomerish take on all of that right there so let's move on here i think that i do think that this was staged this that is my opinion I think that this is silly, and this is all trying to do PR for Bob Iger more than it's trying to do PR for Taylor Swift. I don't think Taylor Swift needs this. I think that this is an advertisement for Disney Plus that happens to be sitting on the UK Daily Mail website, and yeah. and that that if anybody was paid, it was in in influence or access, probably not in actual dollars. Vash, am I just being too cynical this time? 
No, no, no. I, I think I think there's something there. I mean, look, we know from Bob Iger's history that there is a reason behind almost everything he does. There's not a hair out of place. So whenever he's taking an interview, there's there's always some kind of, uh, I don't know, ulterior motive behind it. I think in this case, because it, it there's not really much substance to this article. So it goes on to about ratings and how big Taylor Swift is and how this is a you know, huge thing for Disney Plus and so forth. Uh, they really kind of, uh, uh, let's say, they, they, they fawn over. <laughs> this whole thing actually have happened. So I do think, and it's right around when the Eros tour actually hit Disney Plus. Obviously, they have that, that Q4 deadline that they have to make. They had to reach profitability by that point. I think it's 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 more than coincidental. I'll yeah, say, I, th- I think that. you're probably right. And it'll be interesting to see because we know that the Comcast figure, sorry, the Charter Spectrum figures will be hitting in the same quarter that the Eros tour hit. So it's going to look, th- th- there might be, the possibility that Bob Iger will try to say that the numbers were boosted by the Eras tour being on Disney Plus. So that 75 million that they spent on it and also advertising and also changing all of the playlists on Disney they, Plus to be centered around Taylor Swift. They have that two dollar deal going on right now, right, too? Yeah, well, they they have that in Canada, and I do believe they have that in the UK right now. I don't think they're doing the two dollar deal in the United States because they've got to keep those figures up. Uh, yeah, they they got to get those rookie numbers up so that they can uh, do as Bob Iger indicated and get to that Netflix gold standard. There, it's funny that uh, he's free to say that after uh, Nelson Peltz told him he needs to be going for Netflix as a standard. But now he'll of course say that it was it was always my idea. Um, the, the kind of guy who stage it, who might stage a uh, a meetup with Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift uh, at, uh, at at London Hotspot might also be this the same kind of guy who uh, orchestrates uh, other things to look advantageous, even though they may not be as uh, <clears throat> sincere as as they would appear if you just read the headlines. But that being said, maybe I'm just being a stick in the mud. Maybe I'm just being a curmudgeon. We want to throw this to the audience. First of all, if this video has been helpful to you in any way, or if you want to hear more, (laughs) yikes if I say that, uh, about Taylor Swift and Bob Iger and the shenanigans there at Disney+, Plus, maybe hit the like button, or you could even hit the dislike button. I hear that that is is, uh, the same level of engagement here on YouTube. Of course, we'd love to hear your comments. and if you think it's me, uh, I that that I'm the problem, it's me. Uh, I'm sure I butchered that lyric there. You can just let me know in those comments down below. And of course, consider subscribing to That Park Place for all the news that should be fun. Thanks for watching That Park Place News. For more information, consider checking out www.thatparkplace.com. And don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and send this out on your favorite social media accounts.